Okay, so you're having trouble moving a table in Microsoft Word. I'm going to go through a number of scenarios. I'm going to show you how to move a table with the arrow keys on your keyboard. I'm going to show you how to move a table that is partly off the page. And I'm going to show you how to move a table that seems to be locked to the top of the page. Okay, so let's start off with this table. Now, the simplest way to move a table is with this little control here. Got four little arrows top left of the table. If you place your mouse pointer over it, hold down the left mouse button on your mouse and you can drag the table wherever you want within your document. Now, if you don't want the text to wrap around your table when you do that, then select the table and you should get these buttons that then appear and there's a properties button there. Click on that. If that doesn't work for you, go up to the layout tab on your ribbon and click properties there. Now to stop text wrapping around the table, where it says text wrapping here, click none, and then click on OK. Now if you hold down Alt whilst you drag the table, what that allows you to do is to snap to a kind of invisible grid in Word. And that may help you position the table more accurately. So just holding down Alt, you'll see that the table doesn't quite move as smoothly as it does without alt and that's because it's snapping to a grid and i'll put it back up here if you want to see the grid that the table is snapping to just go to the view tab on your ribbon and then tick grid lines here in the show group so the grid is useful if you're trying to line things up in your document okay i'll just turn the grid lines off so how do you move a table with the arrow keys on your keyboard? Now make sure the whole table is selected and then hold down Shift and Alt on your keyboard and use your up and down arrow keys to move the table up and down your document. It normally moves up and down one paragraph at a time. OK, let's deal with this problem here where the table goes off the page. Now, one way to resolve this is to go back into the properties for the table and to untick this option where it says preferred width. Click on OK. And then you can move your table and then resize it. And you can resize it just by dragging the outside border of the table over to the left so you get your proper size. And then you can adjust the width of each column accordingly. What about this table at the top here? I can't seem to get hold of it or move it. So what you want to do is just click somewhere inside it, go up to the layout tab on your ribbon, go to properties, then go to positioning, and then change this horizontal setting, which currently says relative to page, change it to relative to margin, and also for the vertical setting, relative to margin, click on OK. Then click on OK again, and then you'll better get hold of your table and move it. OK, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you next video.